So could you tell me what the, the idea of this pavilion, the American pavilion this year? So what you're looking at is Simone Lee's sovereignty. And as you can see behind me, she's completely transformed the U.S. pavilion and in fact made the U.S. pavilion into a sculpture. Um, what you're looking at behind me is a facade where she has uh, transformed the building with thatched roofing made out of raffia, which is a reference to the Paris Colonial Exposition of 1931. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. Pavilion was built in 1930. And so what you're looking at is an adjacency of histories, of colonial histories that she has taken, taking on in her sculptures and in her installation for the U.S. Pavilion. But to express what? Well, really, the way that Simone is looking at her work is a strategy that she calls the creolization of form. So bringing in disparate uh, histories, disparate uh, uh, diverse kind of touch points from the African diaspora and from the African continent um, to talk about histories of colonization. But to, to say what? At the end of the day, when you get out of the, of the pavilion, what, what, do you, what you are supposed to think or what you're feeling? Well, in this case, I think that all of the work is really pointing to the experiences very particularly of black women, which has always been the subject matter for Simone. The idea of self-determination of both the collective and the individual, the idea of creating your own communities and your own societies is all very much baked into this project. So it's about, <laughs> sorry, let's wait. So, at the, at, because at the entrance, she's, so there's a lady who is washing some clothes, mm -hmm. and at the end of the pavilion, there's um, a statue showing kind of victorious uh, character, no? Is it a, a passage through an history and a victory or something like that, a symbol like that? I think you could say that. I think there is very much uh, looking at a variety of histories, a, a variety of histories that have been unrecorded, unacknowledged, and she, through her work, through the Creative Act, is filling in those historical gaps. Mm, and the shell, what is the expression of the shell? It's good luck normally. Yeah, no? so the cowrie shell is a form that Simone has used in her work for a long time. The cowrie shell, you may know, is the world's first currency, but is also a symbol of good fortune and prosperity. So, but also you can think of it as, as similar to a woman's body too, and it's kind of, you know, voluptuousness. Um, so I think there's a lot of associations, but, you know, for me, the cowrie shell is a really potent symbol, as you said, at the end of the exhibition. Um, for our visitors to see. But a, a shell instead of a head? Yes, or instead of a body. You could think of it as a body as well. Okay, yeah. so what does it mean? Well, in this case, you have a figure that's made out of ceramic and raffia, which are her two, I would say, signature works or signature materials that really nod to both uh, the body and the dress, but also to architecture. And this combination of the female body and architecture is very much the um, uh, signature of Simone in her work. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous. <laughs>